Welcome back with the Apple iOS 26 Beta 6 guys. So it seems that Apple and Samsung are kind of in a hurry and a kind of in a competition. Who is going to release the stable next version? Is it going to be one year 8 for the S25 series or is it going to be iOS 26 for the 16 Pro Max? Okay, I'm running this by the way on my old iPhone 13, but this update was huge. It was almost 8 gigabytes. Now let's dive in and let's check what is new. As you can see, software update completed. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 26. How do we know which is the latest version? This should be this one here, at least on the iPhone 13. And we're gonna be starting, of course, with the lock screen. So now in the 6 beta of iOS 26, it seems that Apple did some work on the lock screen and even more on the clock itself. Now it seems that they've added even more glass effect, right? Which kind of makes the clock run very good, by the way. And at the same time, you know, it's very readable. So it's not an issue at all. You, by the way, know that they've also added some new wallpaper. So you can see, by the way, this is a dynamic one. And I really like like this whole thing. You can see it changes during the day so you can go with sky we can hollow with dusk and i think the first one which is the shadow like with the shadow we can see really how dramatic now this whole translucent liquid glass effect is what is even more important is apps opening and apps closing animation because yes believe it or not but apple changed them too so oh my god <laughs> All right, and I have a feeling this is already the new animation. How do we know this, guys? I did a sweet video from my phone yesterday showing you the exact same apps that I'm gonna share right now. So this was running the previous betas, and it's the yeah, classical, old, and boring Apple iOS animation. Apps opening, apps closing, and you can see this is specifically the music application. But what happens now? Wow, we can see, yeah. It's, it's really different, by the way. So, yeah, and it's really fast, and I like how the icons are shaped and they kind of like get down and dragged into some kind of a vacuum almost. So this works for sure here from the dock. What about this? Okay, I had, yep, definitely new animations also here. How do we know this? Okay, I'm showing you again. This is the video with the previous beta. I think I skipped one, so maybe beta four. All right, you can see now the TV application opening and closing. Very stunned, very boring. What about the new animation? All right, here. I don't think we have a new animation, but the settings seems to be a bit different and specifically the one inside the dock are changed. And I can tell you guys, imagine this is an iPhone 13 and this really, really looks cool. Besides these guys, they also were here on the dock because right now we still have the liquid glass effect, but it's also very, very readable, which means that they've enhanced somehow all these reflections, you know, the way the light disperses. I kind of like this interface, guys, I can tell you. And imagine this works now on my iPhone 13 and it works quite okay. So I don't think I'm yet ready to install it on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, not at the moment, but honestly, from what I see here right now, this is looking good. What about Safari? All right. The only thing that I really like right now or the most that I like right now is the fact that a whole bar here just minimizes and it gives me my space back. But also pay attention to how this bar here is not only, oh my God, like just pay attention here. What happens, you know, when the light passes through, right? This is what I'm talking about. Like they enhance this, okay? One more time, you can see, right? We have so much dispersion and reflection. I think this is how like the big guys are calling it. Anyway, it is cool and it works quite nice. And besides the new animations, I do believe that they've added also some new ringtones, all right? The boring one. And now we have the dreamer. Pound. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Reflected surge. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay with the default one. Let's quickly check the notifications on my lock screen. You see, by the way, this is not new. The moment I swipe up for my notifications, the whole lock screen dims and yeah, now everything is very, very readable. I can tell you, this is, this is really readable. What happens here when I pull down the curtain on the control center? I would say, yeah, liquid glass is still there, but we have a severe, very, very big blur a very, very blurry background, so everything is still readable. What happens when I draw the curtain to check my notifications? Absolutely the same thing happens. Everything dims, and yep, yeah, I think it's looking, looking great. 
Um, besides the new animations, I don't really think there are any many major changes besides the bug fixes, but this new uh, up opening and closing effects, I think I kind of cool and you can see this really works for most of the icons, right? I can do this here or here, but I really think that the animations from the dock screen just batshit crazy. And again, they enhanced the liquid glass even more without sacrificing readability because this thing is beautiful as it is. If it's hard for me or for you to just read what is beyond, I don't think anybody gonna buy it. And see here guys, now on the black background or dark background, I have a white font. The moment I move in here, boom. You know, they change it back, so it looks very, very nice. And my suspicion is that the same thing is going to happen here. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Inside the App Store. See here, guys? Now, games and apps and arcade, everything is so readable without sacrificing the liquid glass. So, I know it might seem like a little tweak, um, but hey, it's Apple, and you know how they do it. They do it slowly, steadily, and until they do it properly. And believe it or not, but we're not yet done with the updates to Liquid Glass because right now, yep, take a look here, guys. They introduced the new Liquid Glass toggles. And oh boy, I mean, it's just, yeah, I think it's good. You know, it's it's fun. I can show, still I have some old toggles, like the old style, that it's kind of boring. And this one here is rather cool. Again, you can see it goes from being a standard 2D flat button to boom 3D with Liquid Glass and then back to the previous button. So overall, right, those are the new things. Now, they also remove some things because in the iOS 26 beta 5, you're able to change the order of scrolling here, right? See, now I go to the left and then everything goes to the right, which can be a bit of a confusing. They added something to revert it. So yeah, now they remove this. So now we're just stuck with this, which is kind of like the classic mode. Nevertheless, guys, this is iOS 26 beta 6. Let me know what they think down below in the comments. Some more animations. <laughs> wow, we can see how this thing changes. Let's put it in the center, by the way. All right, yep, you can see a bit more like the old style but the moment i put it somewhere to the corners yeah it's going to get jiggy and i really like it specifically the one on the top like and you can really really see this is going to be good i guess that a lot of people right now are going to compete and tell you hey you know what like yeah we have the best animations you know i run this on my android phone who cares like ios 26 animations are really very good and you can see they're really really tailored if i open this here from the right but well, all right, and if I will open this from the top on the right again, it's going to unveil a bit to the left. So I think design wise, yeah, not bad. This expands from here, goes to the left, and that expands in the same way from here. You can see, not bad apple. Guys, let me know what you think down below uh, in the comments, and see you on the next one. BST over, and bye. bye.